I go as often as I possibly can. There are times that I go by and pick up his his favorite fried chicken. He was crazy about this place, fried chicken, and I'll go pick up some chicken and go sit down and have lunch with him. Sometimes when I just feel I need to, I need to go visit him, I may just take off in the middle of the day, just go, go have a visit. It, it's just something inside of me that requires it. My son, love you. Father, thank you for the 21 years of coal. Talked to your mama yesterday, she's doing good. Chase is doing good. Every year, Mark Pittman drives from his home in Shreveport, Louisiana to visit his son's grave. The trip is 44 miles a number that holds deep significance for Cole's family. It's a sign, a memory. You would not believe the 44s that popped up everywhere. And you still get that feeling, I feel my son. I feel my son. When I see a 44, I always say, I love you, baby. I love you, baby. I love you. You know, I know it's him making those 44s appear. Brandon Cole Pittman was born on January 26, 1980. At 10 and a half pounds, his size was an early indicator of a future in athletics. Every year, I mean, for every sport, they had a draft, and he was the first one picked. He just had that ability. He was just big and tough and just given the ball, and he'd run over somebody. He loved football. Whether in sports or in life, whenever 44 was on the field, his father was always on the sidelines, cheering him on. My daddy died when I was 17. We never sat down and talked and never told me he loved me. I spent years uh, being tough, mean. When Cole was born, Cole gave me value. And I started to uh, invest in, in Cole and he responded. He was always closer to his dad. Early on, I noticed that um, the relationship with his father, he would tell his dad anything. The way Mark loved his boys, you can tell that, you know, that they were his world. They're everything to him. Cole always, before he got on the field, he would go and hug his dad. And then, um, and then we'll start practice, you know? It's like, it's like practice couldn't start without Cole going to go hug his daddy. Cole made a name for himself on the field at Evangel Christian Academy. After receiving scholarship offers from schools like Notre Dame, LSU, and Nebraska, he decided to attend the University of Texas and enrolled in the spring of 1999. By February of 2001, Cole was ready to make a big impact for the Longhorns. He had just become a starter, and uh, everything was, was going right in that young guy's life. Coach Brown gives us that weekend off before we start spring ball. With that weekend off, we go home to Shreveport. Spring practice started Monday at like 10 o'clock. So he should have went back Sunday afternoon. Cole decided to stay in Shreveport overnight with his parents before leaving early Monday morning. I think three times or four times he went back and kissed his mother bye. Like he knew this was it. And he held me so tight. And then when he drove off and I stood at the mailbox and I listened and I could hear those pipes for miles and miles and miles. And little did I know it was the last time I'd hear it. I got a call from the highway patrol that said that uh, uh, there has been an accident. There is a truck that's rolled over. Uh, we don't have a billfold for identification, but we have a, a bowl ring that has Cole Pittman's name on it that we found. 
and would you please send us uh, a picture of coal so it will help us with the identification. They said it's, it's a, a, a positive identification. This is Cole Pittman, he's lost his life. Would you please call his mom and dad and tell them? And I said, I, I don't know how to do that. And I called Mark and I said, Mark, we, we've lost Cole. Um, he had a, a truck accident coming back over here, Mark, and, and we've lost him. On February 26, 2001, at approximately 7.30 a.m., Cole Pittman died at the scene of a one-vehicle accident 120 miles northeast of Austin. It's a day that I don't want to relive. I think we learn, I think we learn from our mistakes and from pain. And uh, this is the most painful less in life you could ever. I wouldn't wish this on the devil himself. So I just, it's a day I try not to think about too much. Hindsight's 2020. I live in Shreveport. Cole lived in Shreveport. Why didn't we take one car? Why didn't we just Why didn't we just ride together? And... So, sorry, guys. You know, that's 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 kind of what I've dealt with in the last few years. I just I think about that. I just cried all the time. It was still disbelief, you know, just an emptiness in me. Right after the funeral, when everybody was gone, me and Mark went out to the gravesite. And I said, I need, I need to know you're okay. And I said, send me some 44s to let me know that you're okay. We wanted to honor Cole at a game that mattered in the fall. So North Carolina was our second game of the season and we wanted to have the family down on the field. Today's game is dedicated to the memory of Cole Pittman, the Longhorn lineman whom we lost in a truck accident last February. With us today are members of Cole's family, the day was about Cole. I don't think there's any question that Cole was looking down on the North Carolina game that day. You always took him into the game with you. You know, again, you make it bigger than yourself. Um, make it more about team, make, about Cole, and especially dedicating the game, the North Carolina game, to him. Curry will throw, short, it's picked off at the 20, 15, 10, 5, diving into the end zone, touchdown, Corey Redding! Corey Redding being one of Cole's best friends, you kind of felt like maybe Cole was picking out the guys that, that he wanted to honor him. Corey picked off a ball and ran his you know, somersault in the end zone, and Reed Boyd had an interception in that game. Brett Robbins scored a touchdown in that game, and so a lot of his guys that were in his class, in the 99 class, and then also that were close to him, did some phenomenal things that day. Curry running for his line. 31-14. He's got the sideline. He's going this time. Touchdown, Texas. Robin running left. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Brett Robin. Brett Robin scored a touchdown at the end of the game, and I don't think anybody really realized it until they saw it on the scoreboard. When it got down to the end, Chance Mock and, and Major were totally the ones that said, Coach, it's 44, let's keep it that way. Major Appleage is going to go to a knee. They Five. want the score to have 44 for Cole Pittman. 
You'll notice now, without kicking the extra point, the score is 44 to 14. The players came to Coach Brown and said, in honor of Cole Pittman, we want to leave the score of this ball game at 44. That is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It is. You're not talking about wins and losses here. You're, you're talking about losing a child and honoring him. It couldn't have ended any better than number 44. And, and I think there was a, a weird combination of, of 100,000 people that were crying and screaming at the same time. They were so happy that we had won the game and, and at the same time they were um, mourning over a, a horrible loss from the spring. It was almost like, it was a nod. You guys are okay, I'm okay. Go ahead and finish it, you know, we're good. That 44 meant that he was there, you know? He was there with us that day. So, yeah, that was, that was a very special day. Was that unbelievable? Was that awesome? What today was about was about life. And that's what we talked about. And that's living every day, without question. This is the most important ball that we've ever given a family. Cole was here. You can't have 44 on the school board, guys. He's here. I still count the 44s because they're everywhere. And that's my way of knowing that he is still so close. Sure miss you and don't want to stop. I believe death begins when you're forgotten. And I think Cole still is making a difference in people's lives. He's right here all the time. He's right here all the time. Cole changed my life. Cole made me a better person. I'll honor him with that until I die, I die. Love you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.